three seconds preparing got it we are live on facebook and we are just going to settle it up um i'm going to be speaking a little louder because today my other camera and the microphone are not working and i came to know yesterday that my sound was not very clear so yeah. don't mind if i'm sounding very loud no 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 that's okay fine. because um, uh if we go going to have podcasts out of it and these uh interviews will all become podcasts and my voice must be loud enough for it to become a podcast even if it's in an echo way or not the perfect way so 81st mom here now lakshmi dhana with us um you know my first 25 moms went so fast i was so excited i celebrated the first 25 when they reached the next 25 went little slower the next 25 went even more slower uh, and then my uh, break with my son uh, getting hurt and now i'm back and now i'm going very slow i don't know why because i feel that the space is filling up and some really more uh, you know there's some stories which need to be here so i need to slow down to catch those stories and not uh, but we are here 81st mom 19 more moms to go and we shall be completing our 100 stories and 100 interviews not in 100 days but in 120 days maybe so welcome uh, lakshmi uh, it's a pleasure having you here please introduce yourself because the mom who lives the story tells the story the best i always say that uh, please go and introduce first who lakshmi is and then we go ahead <laughs> i am lakshmi i am based out of bangalore i am a, a mother of two grown up daughters two girls and um, yeah i i live in um, um a space uh, very close to the tech park um and um, yeah i'm a pr professional um i have my own company where i'm uh, you know happy what i'm doing um yeah um so that is a short brief of introduction about me yep that's your short very short very long life said in just one or two two lines yeah. uh, and i can see you're a very humble mom but um like if i just ask who's lakshmi before i ask who's lakshmi as a mom what would you say about that like who is lakshmi and let's tell because the, here we are trying to tell the world that these are moms who are living um full lives and shining and now they are going to express themselves visually in this book um so we must uh, introduce ourselves to the world of who lakshmi is what is she like what has been her inspiration in life uh as a person um yeah who is lakshmi um lakshmi is a very um a quiet um very uh, you know private uh, not very secretive very private um and um what lakshmi was 15 20 years back was absolutely reserved kind who only knows uh, you know the house the girls and the family that's all uh but now uh, lakshmi uh, i think very goal oriented and very focused with work and um, friend for uh, two girls i'm more more than a mother uh, you know i would say because i have 20 years old uh, girls and so i'm more a friend than a mother and um, yeah and and my girls uh, Uh, are very happy children so my objective was to bring them uh, you know very happy children so i ensured um, everything was given to them everything was uh, provided and everything was taken care um, um that is what lakshmi uh, is now and um, in terms of professional i uh, i balance it out between professional and and personal um today my girls are very very close to me uh, anything that they want to do they first ask me and then they kind of go ahead so that is the space and freedom that i've given them and they don't uh, they've not uh, um you know mistaken it or uh, they've not uh, taken it for granted right so uh, lakshmi also i whatever i've spoken to you before uh, whatever little faith you also be you're with your believer you also have a very strong faith in god and um you crossed your last 20 years 30 years of journey with a lot of faith and belief in 
the fact that there's a higher power who's, uh, you know, always supporting you and guiding you and taking you to the right place. Um, uh, you know, what has been your professional journey from a person who's an introvert to a person who's a PR professional today? What a, like, what a contrast, Lakshmi, from where you started and where you are today. Would you like to talk about that as a journey? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, when I look back, I'm very, very happy uh, where I am today. Um, like I said, when then Lakshmi, 20 years back, Lakshmi was very quiet, very introvert, very reserved. Um, the world was only, uh, you know, kids and family. And um, when when things went really good between, uh, you know, um, uh, husband and myself, and we had to kind of, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, part ways. And when I did at that uh, second or that situation, I didn't have a proper education. I, I wasn't financially um, independent and... Uh, I didn't know any other work than just being mom. Yeah. Um, You're so, a young mom as well. You're a young mom. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I got married when I was 19. Um, yeah. And when I, uh, so when when that point in time, I, I, I was uh, kind of clueless because I didn't even know the spelling of world, uh, you know, then. So I was quite innocent. Um, I was um, uh, very... Uh, I don't voice out my opinion. I don't, uh, um, you know, say anything. If anyone says, you know, if anyone hurts, I would, uh, you know, keep quiet. So that was my um, initial, uh, you know, stage. I think my in-laws, my mother-in-law, father-in-law father really helped me. And that was um, when one of my neighbors, they, uh, you know, came and, uh, um, she asked me, why don't you just join anyway, uh, you know, you're, uh, you know, sitting at home, why don't you just help me out and assist me in the PR, you know, uh, company, which, uh, you know, uh, so she asked me to just join her. So I started off um, just to understand, probably I would say an accident. Um, but uh, I think two years I was with her and the way she uh, helped me in terms of the work and uh, the, I think she laid a very good, strong foundation for me to move out of that small agency to a bigger corporate, uh, you know, companies. Um, and and then once I understood this is what I want, then I did my uh, education um, according to my profession. So I, I went and did, uh, uh, you know, course MA Public Administration, and I went and did uh, because I was in PR. Um, I did my PG in Diploma on uh, Event Management and Public Relationship. And, and then slowly, um, I, I kind of uh, uh, started enjoying the work that I was doing. So there are two things, right? You do what you love or you love what you do. So I think the latter, latter one is uh, my option. So I started enjoying, I started liking my job. And, and um, so that's how I started my career. Um, yeah, uh, then I think my children were really small. I think the older one was seven, eight years old. My younger one was three to three years old. Um, it, it was very difficult, you know, for me learning things, uh, entering into a new world of, uh, you know, corporate and then uh, leaving the house where I only thought that was world. And then I was just coming out of the world, you know, in literal uh, word. Um, so I had to take care of my children and um, kids were very small. I had to kind of, um, uh, you know, struggled a lot, but I think uh, I look back and I see I'm very, very happy what I did and uh, what the girls are today. Uh, so I, uh, you know, um, kind of the time that I gave in for work and the kind of time that I gave in for my children, um, I kind of very carefully balanced it out. Um, right. and it was, uh, you know, gradually I started growing, um, you know, in the, uh, you know, industry, I mean, in my work um, and people started recognizing me and, uh, and today um, I'm, everyone knows who's Lakshmi and what is my company all about and who are my girls and what they are doing and so on and so forth. Yeah. I, I um, it has been a great journey. I have no regrets. I have no complaints. Uh, you know, I went through a lot, 
but i always seen my life um you know ahead um i never really um thought about the past i never really worried about the future i i took my life as it came and uh, and like you said uh, i left it to the god uh, i always believe in universe universe has my back so anything that i had you know challenges any difficulties any sorrows anything i would go and uh, you know speak to uh, you know god uh, infant jesus is my great uh, uh, you know um, what do you call a relief and uh, of course sai baba so yeah these two gods i have always gone to them and shared my uh, all the things so yeah i believe in god and i think without god's blessings i'm sure i wouldn't have been here where i am yeah and i i think you're a very humble soul as well and um, just to tell people across the world um, that you know she's embraced her struggle um, so beautifully with so much grace and that's why i definitely wanted to introduce her because what happens is that as mums we get stuck and when especially we're raising children as single mums and we have two girls and then um, you know we are early young mums we tend to get very stuck and we don't know how to move forward and uh, the whole fact that i talk about the mother pulse the whole fact that about you know the mother pulse and the alignment to the mother pulse actually brings that whole uh, alignment to us that we exactly know what to do so somebody like uh, lakshmi who was an introvert becomes a pr professional i mean this only happens when you have your children right in front of you you want to navigate with them in this world and then you get the courage to drop all your fears from uh, something that you would have never done if you didn't have children you probably would have done some other profession something that was uh, you know low lying and which didn't need such an active participation this is just too extreme for the dot because an introvert becoming a pr professional is just so opposite um and that's why the inspiring part of uh, your story is that um you can be anything and when it comes to like your children mothers do take charge and that's why this book is going to um bring about pages after pages after pages when mothers have shown up when mothers have not given up and when they start expressing themselves visually this is going to be another level because one it's going to help them uh express themselves forever in release and there is again and again i say that i am seeing mothers getting released from a lot of things the minute they express themselves visually and they see themselves in pictures and they're like oh my god this is who i am it's a process that i am sure is going to become a great transformational tool um in the future apart from all the tools that we have but yes this is a path which has not been uh, taken and we will come to know and it will it will unfold slowly and slowly and it is i already see it because right i am right ahead um uh, looking at it but i know it will unfold for people and i want to i like i'm so excited to see your um thank you as well because how does an introvert also come and expresses herself in a world book of mothers about her story about who she is and expresses through a picture that itself would be a very inspiring journey from now till that picture that i can totally guarantee because you have to answer question who am i what am i declaring where is it how is it happening and i'm there to help for sure because um, i have decided that i will bring this as a transformation tool self portrait will become a transformation tool and i will keep you know working in this field uh, and i totally totally love uh, this whole thing that you can become anything and especially when you're a mom and you decide that your children are at stake you will go to places and you will do things that you you know and faith and belief definitely becomes great great supporters and help for us to move forward um so what was the juggle like you know what was the, if i ask you for a scene what what's the scene like you know your girls are young you're studying you're a young mom uh, i think you were in your 20s or maybe maximum uh, early 30s when You have to step out to the world where you had never stepped out. Uh, you have to relearn a lot of things, learn new things, and at the same time, uh, you know, worry about girls. How was that journey? Like, worry about two girls, leaving them behind, taking them to school. You know, being available for them, not uh, leaving them alone, not making them feel left out. So, what was that journey all about? 
um, you know, um, just to uh, tell you, you know, the introvert to uh, the person I am today, um, where I wouldn't even step out of my father, you know, would never let me step out of the house without my brothers. Uh, and I've never stepped out of the house in, in the past, I'm saying. And today I'm a solo driver, solo. I drive uh, on my own solo. I travel solo. I've done a lot of solo driving. So just to look at me uh, as a person, I'm, I'm very, uh, you know, happy where I stand. And as a mother, I'm, I'm probably, it's not that I'm boosting. I'm very, very uh, satisfied and very content because when, when I, things were not going good, my, the sole, um, only objective was to get my children, uh, not the education, of course, education was secondary for, for my children. The first thing I wanted them to be a good human being. So I, I had to kind of teach them, um, more than teaching them, I had to kind of, uh, uh, you know, take them uh, through various, uh, you know, things like, for example, I would talk about people who did not have anything because my girls had everything that they wanted immediately. But I would always tell them, don't compare yourself with the people who uh, have everything. Always compare yourself with people who do not even have what you have. I, and uh, anything that they did, I, I teach them the value for it. Even if it was an eraser for one rupee, I, I teach them the value for you know that how important it is and where does that one rupee that eraser come you know from um, and and how even on the roadside if you have to see someone you know unfortunate to see people on the road begging so I I tell them you can't even say excuse me hello you have to if it is old older people you should say tell them you know auntie uncle. You know, so I, I wanted them to treat everyone equal just because someone is rich, you look up to them and someone is poor, you look down upon them. So that one thing I, I taught them and uh, um, very being being helpful to people, uh, you know, I always tell them if you're not, um, you know, don't hurt anyone. So both my girls um, are very kind and they I have never come across. Uh, anyone telling that your daughters uh, or you know the girls hurt uh, you know my girls or something so that another thing that i've you know taught them it's fine i mean they they it's a very um, you know um, difficult world very competitive very rude very harsh and so on and so forth but i still wanted my girls to be the way uh, they are uh, at the end of the day they learn even with that uh, whatever the nature that they are and uh, uh, I'm sure they'll uh, face it, uh, face their lives, uh, uh, you know, however it is. So there are a few, three, four, uh, you know, uh, uh, a general, uh, basic things uh, that I've, you know, taught my girls. So that was my first priority. The education was secondary. Education is important. So my education, uh, education, I always, you know, told them you need to have education, but these are the qualities that you need to inculcate. Um, so that way, I think they kind of um, follow, uh, followed and um, follow it. Um, when they were doing the, the school time, they used to get back home by 2 to 30. So I, I, I used to give them the list of things that they have to do, you know, like a prompt, uh, like a Hitler, you may call it. So I used to give them a instruction you know 2 30 you come you change your clothes I used to write it in the paper change your clothes go wash yourself and sit you have your uh, food and then half an hour tv whatever program so I write those program names also these are the programs older one can watch and these are the programs younger one can watch and 4 to 5 30 is their homework they have to finish 5 30 they have to they can go out and seven o'clock they have to get back even if they got back seven one i would give them punishment i had to be uh, that hard but it was only during that uh, the age in my opinion i feel if you can bring those um uh, you know uh, those values between 10 and 13 i think your 80 percent of your job is done you know the, the the children will uh, come out um, i mean uh, come out to be the good children with good heart and uh, good souls right yeah i mean uh, there as i as i say that there are uh, 
million shades of mothers i realized that um and sitting here <clears throat> this is my 81st interview i've met and speak to so many mothers across the world and i only say that this is another shade of mother there's just another there's just nothing right and wrong uh, about it and i think um, that's also been proven by many mothers that we worry too much about too being too far uh, we just have to do the basic we just have to keep them happy and we just need to put them into a structure a little bit uh, and everything falls in place and the more um, the less we worry the more they expand themselves and become who they are and um, but but again it's just different shades of mothers dealing with it differently because i remember you telling me that i was a very strict mom and everybody used to say that i'm a very strict mom uh, your uh, i think she's got stuck ah, you got stuck uh so like i remember you saying that uh, if all of your ch- girls friends used to say you are a very strict mom yeah. and, uh, you know and you had decided to be that you had decided to be that because you also worried for their safety because you were out for work you were trying to learn you were understanding the even the word world you said you were trying to understand what the word you know word world meant uh, you didn't even know that because that's how cocoon you were by the time you got married and had children um but as a priya professional um like what what is what is your life like as a priya professional as a woman as as uh, lakshmi who deals with pr uh, who's dealing with uh, so what where uh, where are the values aligned there because even in pr is such a vast thing that you have to decide what you need to do and what kind of clients and what are the values that you bring so that it all aligns and i know that you you are so based out of values uh since you're a kid um do you also have certain values you've kept for being a pr professional that this is it like this this is what i want to do and beyond this i will not do something that doesn't suit uh, me or my values so have you put those values and do you say no to clients as well or when you think they don't align with your values absolutely uh, i think uh, um, me as a person um, you know be it a personal and professional there are set of principles that i i strictly follow um, um we we i i mean as uh, myself and my colleagues as a team we always consider um uh, anyone i know clients if they they have to treat us as extended you know team members and uh, the relationship is all about you know uh, i think wherever whichever business you are in whichever field you are in until unless you have that good relationship uh, with you know others whether it's colleague or whether it's your clients or whether it's your um, uh, you know media wherever i am into media so it all relationship is all uh, what matters and that actually through my pr i learned it um uh, uh you know very well um and i i genuinely um, you know respect every uh, one you know each and every one be it clients my colleagues or media or uh, i interact with a lot of influencers and so on and so forth experts and celebrities um so if somewhere something is not working out um i probably will not even if there is a you know misunderstanding or if there is any uh, challenges and conflict i really do not go and you know fight or try to uh, voice out my opinion i i feel okay there someone doesn't like me and i don't like someone um uh, i i just slowly move away i wouldn't hurt anyone it's it's perfectly fine sometimes i tell you know one of my friends i said you're so uh, you know gullible and you're so um, you know sweet but don't you think people in your industry people take you for granted um so i i always tell them okay if you know the taking me uh, granted for them uh, is going to benefit i said i'm perfectly fine as long as they don't hurt me uh, that taking uh, for granted doesn't harm me so uh, so that is uh, you know something i i really uh, you know follow um and i i ensured my colleagues we are all on the same vibes you know my colleagues my team in delhi bombay in bangalore so um it, it's the same thing what you have at home you follow the values i also do try and do as much as possible you know outside in my in my uh, you know professional world 
um, yeah, sometimes you come across different kind of people if things kind of match up the vibe, if it doesn't, um, you know, get along. I, I smile with my smile. I say, okay, fine. Bye. Yeah, because, uh, uh, you know, it's, um, it's easier said than done. The journey you've taken, um, the journey you've taken from somebody who's scared of speaking up to speaking for people, speaking on behalf of people, uh, you know, talking to them and bringing their, uh, you know, work out. Um, it's a it's a long journey, and I think Lakshmi is stuck again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. The, uh, yeah, sure. yeah. So I'm saying the journey that you've taken uh, from somebody who doesn't even speak for herself to somebody who speaks for the world, for her clients, who goes and represents the clients, who talks to people. I find it very interesting because there was a point in time that I was a very big introvert. Like I was as a child, I was a very introvert kind of a child, and. Uh, there's a joke in my family. So my cousin, when she got married, she was, uh, I was in grade five, I think. And then she and she was very fond of me. So she and her husband, her husband said, oh, I, I feel so bad for her. You know, she doesn't speak. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. She hardly speaks to anybody. And, uh, you know, by the time I was, uh, I became a photographer. Um, uh, he met me again. He's like, you know what? I really wonder what's going to happen to somebody who's going to get married to you now. So he I had totally flipped from that introvert person to a to a person who had not only started speaking but speaking so much that I started embracing. I don't do PR, but I embrace people. I love talking to people. I love getting stories and see what I'm doing here today, sitting after 20 years of guy photography. I'm actually bringing stories across the world into a book. Um, so that's that's why I understand the journey. I understand your journey that it's step by step. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes courage. And when you do it alone, with two children, it's another level of difficulty. You know, it's another another level. So I want to ask you an interesting question now. That have you taken a lot of pictures of yourself with your children when they were growing up? Uh, that's a good question. Not really. I think I take probably now uh more of myself uh but um yeah we i we do not have yeah 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 so that's why this project is going to also change that that mothers will start wanting to take pictures with their children because i always say it's a very big miss uh you know when your children can't uh, have even those memories um with uh, you know your parents when you were young holding them you know, uh, and so a lot of time it's to do with the fact that we mothers have lost the ability to want to show up in front of the camera. And, uh, you know, sometimes it just says, oh, we were just too busy or we like, you know, whenever I research, they always said that we were too busy. We like to stay behind the cameras. A lot of them honestly said we hate ourselves in the pictures now. We look so much better when we were not moms and before that. And they are bold enough to say that, but actually there's an underlying reason that after you, and because the same chatter had surrounded me as well. So I, um, you know, um, realized that it's a very big miss and these memories are something that can be a great asset for your children in the future to, um, you know, sometimes come back to the right path because uh, the pictures I took of mothers, I know that when they see them on the walls, uh, even if they're trying to uh, go astray, go here and there, sometimes even that hug, that smiling mother picture of you with them can bring them back and say, no, nah, it's not worth it to go this way. And uh, or many other things can happen or just to hold their memory when they're not there around, just to tell your, your own children, see my mom, she was so gorgeous. But moms don't feel gorgeous and moms don't feel they're amazing. And then they don't want to show up. And now, um, you know, the fact that, um, People also say, oh, today's moms are very vain. That's why they want to do it. But today, because of thanks to social media, we are so much pressure that we're comparing ourselves to mothers who, uh, you know, this whole image of mothers with, uh, you know, same clothes and all that fashion industry is bringing out. And that's why I also feel that it's very easy to sit down and say, well, you know, that's the pressure the internet is getting, but projects like these are also happening on the same platform projects like where you your authentic self is also coming out 
uh, every mother is getting an opportunity to show up in an interview in, in her own authentic way. Children are hanging around, they are coming in and going and all these interviews you will see children come and go and things are happening. One of my interviews, my son was like crawling and wanting to take uh, my phone because he wanted to play. So he went and he just dropped the light right while I was talking on uh, you know, just right next to me. And I was like, that's okay that this is what a mother's life is. Um, so, so I'm glad you said that because now you're caught and you will have to one, not only create pictures with your children, I'm sure you would want to create more as a gift to them, but you will also have to create your story. And then, and again, somebody who's shy and who's kind and who's, uh, you know, likes to be low lying, uh, is going to be celebrated in a book, uh, where mothers across the world are there as a mother, uh, you know, as a shade of a mother that I don't think so I have interviewed. Uh, so I'm very excited to see what's going to come out uh, from your pages. And I'm there to help you, to guide you, to do your self-portrait uh, in the best possible way we can. Um, so if I ask you, what's your dream, uh, uh, Lakshmi? What's Lakshmi's dream? Oh, my, my dream, um, uh, it has been uh, for the last, uh, ever since my children were born, uh, all that I want uh, or I dream about is my children being happy, content, and uh, satisfied. I think money comes and money goes. People come and people go. But at the end of the day, um, these are the three things I keep telling them. Still, I tell them, do whatever you want, but you should be happy. You should be content and you should be satisfied. If Whatever it takes, if you have to give and feel satisfied, if you have to do and feel satisfied, do that. So these three factors, whatever, it, that is me and I want them also to have. So in the next 10 years, if I see both my children are, uh, you know, happy and content and satisfied with their lives, I mean, whatever they've gone through, uh, I'll be the most uh, luckiest and blessed and happiest mother in the, in the world. And that's my dream. And I, I pray and... Uh, and, and um, you know, always wish them that. The second one is, of course, my company. Um, I always had uh, um, the, the, when I took over the international agency in 2017, my first objective or my first, uh, um, you know, thought process um, was to um, ensure my colleagues are taken care. Uh, first point, the second, um, make my company the best, not the first, not the numbers, running behind the numbers, but uh, I want my agency uh, to be considered as the best agency for clients and for employers. And uh, yeah, I mean, then um, my life, my satisfaction, my contentment in life, and uh, that, that is, you know, kind of served. So, these are the two things that I see uh, purpose purposes in my life that I want to, uh, you know, achieve as part of my dream. Right, and I think your company has been your child as well, and uh, it's taken many shapes and sizes before you started, just uh, by assisting somebody and climbing up the ladder to now owning an international PR company. Um, uh, that itself is, uh, you must tell your company's name because people are here, they'll go check out what your company is, uh, what, what's your company's name? I, um, it's called Encomium PR, uh, which means uh, talking about something and write, uh, praising about someone. Um, public relation is uh, nothing but, uh, uh, you know, getting written, uh, you know, about in, in various platforms. Um, yeah, so so I kept okay. earlier. It was called Eulogy uh, India Private Limited. So it's the same meaning, eulogizing and the encomium. It's more or less, you know, the same. Right, uh, right. It was a difficult process, but yeah, I, I gave myself uh, a challenge. If I can do well for two years, if there is a progress, then uh, I kind of give more. Um, you know, more than 200% of my life and my breath, everything, you know, effort, everything, and then make it the best company. I think, uh, yeah, I think God has been great. Like, I always believe in God and universe. Yeah, yeah. They're always guiding me and directing me. And... Beautiful. So what I can just say is I can welcome you in this book 
and I'm so looking forward to um, creating this book and this page of yours because I, for me, when I when I bring in a mom, I am trying to see what her what is it going to be that's going to come out. I'm very excited about that part because I'm very excited about what they're going to write, what they're going to say. But more than that, what is that picture that they will say is them? And, um, you know, and I, 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 when I get pictures of moms who are working and they're creating such magic, some of them have gone four times, five times, six times. You know, Shikai's are done. They, they are so determined to get their story out. And technically, sometimes it's tough to do a self-portrait. Um, but they, they are at it. And I see, uh, so, like, I mean, see, I, I see the picture and I see the book and I'm like, oh my God, this book is going to be very simple, created by moms, not by some professional photographer, only a professional photographer guiding them and heading. But it's going to be even more special because not a photographer is going to place to place to photograph them. They're just like, you know, these mothers are creating it themselves. And actually, it's a hard work. It's a tough work. And that's why a lot of times they get stuck that, oh my God, what is my story going to be? How am I going to do it? What is it? Uh, and then, of course, passing the quality standards that I have in terms of technical and the wow factor and the fact that they've expressed them fully, themselves fully is very important. So um, while we are creating the book and I welcome you as my 81st mom and I'm very excited to take this journey ahead with you. It will honestly unfold for me also just the way it will unfold for everybody who watches this or everybody who's in the book. When people ask me, what's your this thing? I said, I have no idea. I only knew one day I started. I don't know how I managed 81. I don't know where these mothers have come from. I don't know how much love they're showering to this project and how it all happened. Uh, I just know that I will take step one, step two, step three, and now 81 steps taken, and now more steps will be taken. This book will be created. We will, and I see this book out as a very inspiring book. A lot of hard work is going on um, among with, by the mothers and the team and everybody else. So welcome to this book, Lakshmi, and I'm glad that you are here. Um, don't go off. Uh, we are going to just say bye bye live. And you stay here. Okay, oh, I, I think before we complete, uh, I just probably want to tell everyone, every girl, every woman, every mother. Um, I, I think there's nothing is impossible. Right. Everything is possible. I think you are also a classic, uh, you know, example. I I know a lot of people who have really struggled. In that way, I think I'm the most blessed one because although financially it was, um, you know, help. I mean, I never had any financial support. Um, I never even had any moral support. Probably a couple of friends and my in-laws. Um, but else, rest all, um, I built it. So I'm very protective of, about what I brought it to today, whether it's my children, whether it is me or my company and the, the clients, whoever. Nothing is impossible. And don't you ever give up if something that, uh, you know, you want to do. Love what you do and do what, you, you know, uh, I mean, love what you do. Is, is something that I want to say. I'm sure everyone is doing what they love, but um, it's very rarely you see people loving what they do because that that becomes an option, right? That's not yeah. their you know passion. Yeah. But give it a, give it a uh, what do you call try? If even if you don't know, you don't want. If probably until unless you try, you won't know what it is, right? Yeah. Keep your options open. Keep your mind open. And I must say that the blessing of this book is, and maybe the intention of this book was to bring out those inspiring stories of mothers who don't give up. So we have 81 mothers who have not given up, who shine in various ways, in ways that, you know, uh, because it's very uh, easy to say, oh, my story is not as interesting as that one or that one or that one. Everybody has a story. Everybody lives that within them. Within their constraints, they fight it, they come out, they shine. That itself is courage. It doesn't matter of what level courage we have. But the thing is that all these 81 moms and all the 100 moms in the book, I can assure you are the ones who were chosen to be the ones who will shine in the world through this book and say, if we can do it, so can you. And uh, just wait. And like that's the blessing of this book because the intention of the book was 
to only bring those shining stories so that the mother who sits in the dark and say oh since i become a mom now this is my life and i don't know when this is going to end and when they become old they like now it's all gone and we can't do anything they are going to pick up this book and you know somebody like lucy who's 75 and still thinks i i feel she she is her energy is younger than mine as well or anybody the youngest mom in this uh, in this book uh, who's i think 27 um but uh, lucy beats everybody for sure with her enthusiasm with you know pivoting online she at the age of 70 71 decided to pivot online and help people to come online where my father who's 73 thinks that his life is um about online world will not go through his head so we have some uh, great inspiring stories here uh, and that's the good part that none of them have given up and they are shining in this book to come and tell the world that don't give up and thanks for that message because that's going to come out with each page i promise uh, of this book so and we I, will go off live you want to say something no i said i want to wish you uh, best uh, and uh, congratulations and all the very best any help any time there and uh, you rock yes and and i thank you but i keep reminding this to mothers as well that it's not me it's us now because we all are creating this book together like i am very dependent on your two pages uh uh and every single mom's two pages uh to shine in their authentic way so that we can you know raise the bar and then inspire the world so we are us together when we uh, you know this whole that's why i take it live i've not uh, secretly doing this not secretly saying that oh i don't know i'm i'm going to keep the the information of these mothers with me i'm very happy to share their links i'm very happy even in the book they're going to have their links their websites everything because the idea is to share the idea is to grow to ideas to make this community of mothers that help each other and then help the mothers outwardly so we are together in it so congratulations to you and to other 81 moms who are in this as well right so much shikha all the way bye i'm just going to uh, don't go off i'm just going off live